Okay, here we go on another one. It's time to do one with negative sign. <clears throat> okay, so notice A is negative 4. That's this one. B is a coefficient of x. That seemed to be easy. C is added or subtracted in parentheses. Not one there. D is negative 3. That's a caboose. They might put the caboose in the front and try to trick you. This is 360 divided by 3. That's 120. Remember, E is 360 divided by B. And that makes the increment be 120 divided by 4, which is 30. Okay, max, center, min. And I need a negative sign. I've had a lot of students that just draw the sine wave on everything. So you want the negative sine wave. Please remember, there's a sort of pick from right there. Sine, negative sine, ne cosine, negative cosine. So we're good on that. Here's where my increments will be. <clears throat> I'm going to start at zero. I'm going up by 30. We got all those. Negative 3 is the center line. Up 4, down 4. Because look, this is up 4, down 4. Well, please don't put negative 7 here. Because think about your y-axis. As you go up, you're going positive. And oh, look. Up in here somewhere is the x-axis. Right there is the y one. And we're probably pretty good on that. Let's see, we got our increments labeled. I got the right curve. It starts at zero. What else have we got? There's your center line. This is your center line right here. Up four, down four. Go down first if it's negative, it makes you feel better. Go down four, then go up four. But the uh, the amplitude here is just this distance. And as we know, distance is not negative. We don't have sides of triangles that are negative. We don't have the front of your house is not a negative number. Your height is not a negative number. So we just got four in between. It just happens it starts. The negative really means we do this. <clears throat> we do the negative sine curve. And there we are on that one. And we're over now and we'll be back.